friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on April 14th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, world weather forecast. Starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours on our sun. Not too much activity incoming or on the Earth-facing disk. But on the backside... And on the cresting, we definitely do have some action. We had a couple solar flares taken off on the backside. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, you'll be able to see those large plasma filaments lifting from the right-hand side there. That is a cresting and incoming. Northwest region of our sun, throwing off about two solar flares, as well a flare in the outgoing position, the backside. Looking at outgoing now. Other than that, no major space weather events to talk about or thwarted our way. Quick look here at that region, spitting out large plasma filaments. And looking at Lasco 2, you can definitely see that was an accelerated stream of plasma shooting away from the sun. Looking at the multi-spectrum here, you can see those Huge plasma ropes dancing all around the northwestern side of the sun. Very active sunspot region. 171 angstroms here. You can see the dark regions. Those are the coronal holes. So we do have an extended coronal hole from the equator into the northern hemisphere right now. And that was in an earth-facing position. Just getting ready to turn out now. Looking at Lasco 2 and 3, the last 24 hours of imagery. And you can see in the last few images there, quite a shot out of plasma right there. Another closer look at that plasma shot. So coronal mass ejections and as well solar flares on our sun, but none in an earth-facing direction. Solar X-ray flux is hovering in C and B range. Geomagnetic activity was up to KP6 today after we saw solar winds over 500, almost 600 kilometers per second. ISWA space prediction spiral here showing only the outgoing flare that I was talking about. Shot out right at stereo A. Looking at our real-time solar wind showing 500 kilometers per second after being up just about 560 kilometers per second earlier today. Very sporadic solar wind stream, to say the least, especially north-south polarities. And the temperature influx as well. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 25. Healthy little spike there right around lunchtime. Other than that, it would have been pretty low. So our Schumann resonance, amplitude 25, quality 6.6, power of 14. Let's get to earthquakes around the world the last 24 hours. Starting out here with the largest, reported by USGS, a 5.5 south of Tonga, South Pacific Ocean, 10 kilometer depth. And that was after a very deep earthquake here, 568 kilometer depth, 4.4. As well, New Tadine, California, 4.9, 4.7, 4.7 there, Indonesia, 5.3, Southwest Indian Ridge, as well, a 4.3 here in Bandar Abbas, Iran, 10 kilometer depth, 4.4 here in Demer, Turkey. And as well, a 4.8 Greece, the middle of the Mediterranean. Also, Russia reporting a 4.7 here in Novi Oyen. As well, Naha, Japan, reporting a 5.0. Quiet through North Japan, only Katsura seeing a 4.6. And as well, Atu Station, Alaska, seeing a 4.1 today. Quieting down through El the Alaska area, increasing activity here into the United States, 3.3 here to report, Dyer, Nevada, right on the border with California, as well, 3.0, MacArthur, California, and Langwa, 
Oregon, 3.3. And minor activity continues. White City, New Mexico, no major swarms to talk about. 4.3 here in Champerico, Guatemala. And as well, quiet, but the bottom Bonaire, Saba, seeing a 3.8. South America has been a pretty active area, 4.9 here. Bolivia, 262 kilometer depth, pretty deep earthquake for the region. As well, 4.5 or 4.4 there, El Maguro, Chile, as well, Ilapel, Chile with a 4.9. 4.1 5.0 earthquake to report Bouvet Island in the middle of the Antarctic and South Atlantic and that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes give you a quick glance around the world at how it's been shaking here for the past seven days take a quick moment here to thank everybody for tuning in today to daily events worldwide keeping humanity aware and prepared to natural disasters around the world, earthquakes, volcanoes, space weather, and world weather. Much love to all of the memberships. Really appreciate the support to the channel's research and productions, and as well, all of the super chats and likes, comments. Much love to y'all. Thank you. Without you, we wouldn't be at almost 50,000 follows. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery as well as the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Storms, extreme weather seems to, has, seems to have ceased across the southeastern parts of the United States, now moving up into northeastern with thunderstorm conditions. Other than that, that extreme weather event is pretty much over. Watch for it to move back in. Most recent volcanoes getting updated, Krakatoa in Indonesia just recently, as well Popo in Mexico, Raventador in Ecuador, Semeru, Indonesia, Sabancaya in Peru, Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia, Tocono, Indonesia, Shevelich, Russia, Fuego, Guatemala, 105 active alerts today very active planet right now looking at ibu indonesia sangay in ecuador swiss and Ajima, japan and that's all the volcanoes so updating about 13 volcanoes today out of the 48 active and erupting around the world winter storms through quebec and manitoba northern ontario Stormy conditions through northeastern parts with that system moving through. Big low heading into Alaska and looking at Typhoon Malakas, who is now a Category 3. It's going to just miss Japan, but already seeing waves of moisture heading in there. Floods reported in the Philippines after they had a cyclone run through there as well. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. I know many lives were lost. Looking around the world over Africa and Europe. Stormy conditions through South America and South Africa. Let's have a look at our weather forecast brought to you by Venture Sky and Daily Events Worldwide starting out here in Ontario, Canada as we have that lingering low hanging around for this week. Then it's going to cool down as we have a big Colorado low heading eastward. Watch for an extreme weather event, 18th into the 19th for southeastern parts. As well, watch for rain moving in for west coast, BC, Oregon, and into California. And then an Alberta clipper here forming 19th into the 20th. So very stormy conditions and cold conditions for North America. Daily evaporation rains continuing here for South America. Coastal regions of Brazil, Sao Paulo. Watch for heavy rains as that system moves out. Overlooking Africa, daily evaporation rains central and south, especially off the coast. 
and then also watching here as a tropical cyclone is forecast for the island of Mauritius just missing reunion this forecast model could change here the next couple days so stay aware and prepared stay tuned to daily events giving you daily updates but that's going to be a category three or four cyclone when it makes landfall so heads up Mauritius overlooking Europe no major weather systems heading in into the country sorry into the continent it's going to be pretty dry throughout the week lingering low through the Mediterranean heading into Turkey long-range forecast still not much coming in overlooking Southeast Pacific here Southeast Asia Malaysia Indonesia watching tropical cyclone Malacus forecast just south of Japan and then overlooking Australia and up into Papua New Guinea daily evaporation rains through Papua New Guinea a lingering low south of there could attract to parts of Brisbane later in the week but still forecast models could change so stay tuned also we've got heavy rains heading to Sri Lanka and parts of South India and up into Myanmar and that's a look at your weather world weather forecast going to leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern upper level winds right now at 10,000 feet as we are shifting into summer thanks for watching today stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily due bye bye now thanks for joining the family prayers for humanity bye bye Today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.